Alright guys, Fishy Dubs Fishing here. And we ran the boat last uh, Friday. And it sat for about four months in the yard. So that was the first good run. And you know when things sit, you're always worried about having a problem. But let me tell you, this thing ran like a top. Never skipped a beat. So, I'm looking at maybe going tomorrow. So, what I do after every trip to get it ready, I always check the oil. You don't want to go without checking the oil. That's a must every single trip. And she's good. And the fuel conditioners I use, I use Yamaha Ring-Free Plus Additive, and I use a fuel stabilizer and conditioner. Now, when I first got the boat, I had a full tank, and I put one container of each, a full container. I, I think it treats, you know, about a tank, maybe a little less, depending on the size of your tank. But I wanted to really get a good amount in there for the start and after that let's say the last trip I made was 20 miles out so round trip is 40 I burn about with the boat loaded pretty pretty much loaded um, so in a trip like that let's say 40 mile round trip I'm gonna burn about 11 or 12 gallons so all I need to do is add a small amount of this. Um, last, uh, before the last trip, I added the fuel stabilizer and conditioner. You know, I, I put about, oh gee, there's a, a mark on the side here. I put about maybe four ounces in, four to six ounces of that in. So now, I'm going to put in the Ring Free Plus, and what that does, it helps with corrosion in the fuel system. It's a synthetic blend, so it doesn't harm the environment. Um, it's made for ethanol fuels. I run a plus fuel in here. I run the middle grade. I've been running it for two years. I got absolutely no problems. I use the same pump every time I fill up and I had no problems and I'm about due to change out the filter the filter's been on there for about two years now you're supposed to change them out every year but you know I have no signs of any kind of moisture or anything in the fuel system so you know it's gonna be about two years on a filter and this even helps I believe with some carbon buildup and everything so I'm just gonna put in about four to six ounces, you know. It's not uh, an exact science, a little more, a little less, because actually you could put the whole container in, but that container cost, these are about $30, $40 each. And this one is a little cheaper, it's about 15 to 20. So, you know, I try to use it sparingly. So that's it, uh, we got the fuel stabilizer, uh, the ring, the ring free plus in there this time around next time I'll put in the fuel stabilizer I'll alternate back and forth and that's it we're ready for the next trip um, so I'll catch you out there tomorrow the other thing I do guys is before I put the cover on I have Yama Lube silicone protected spray i'm sure there's other silicones on the market but you know i bought a case of this stuff and before i put the cover i'll just give it a light coat on the uh you know the wire connectors the coil packs you know i sprayed this pretty good already so it just a light coat is all you need and this keeps it really, really clean. This engine is almost four years old. 
It only has 350 hours on it. I haven't even really begun to fish yet. Um, go watch my last video on catching amberjacks. It was a banner of a day. Banger of a day, man. And I'm going to try to get back here tomorrow. So just give it a light coat. It'll keep all the rust and corrosion off of it. And uh, you won't have any uh, problems with wire connections. I see guys at the ramp, and I've been there before with other boats. Uh, they're broke down at the ramp. And they pull the cover off, and the engine looks like hell. Nobody, you know, they don't maintain it properly, so... You know, you get what you put into it, guys. Go follow my channel. I have uh, engine oil change. I have zinc uh, plugs. Um, I show you where the zinc plugs are in this. I check the two that are in the um, underneath the, the uh, valve covers. There's two more up by the thermostats. I'm going to check one of these days. But um, the other ones looked really good because I flushed this engine when I come home every time. So, like I said, you get what you put into it out of it. And, um, but like I said, follow my channel. I'm going to do a gear oil change, maybe 40, 40 more hours or so. I'm going to do a gear oil change. I'll put that on the video. And, um, there's other stuff putting radar fish finders, uh, lights, I put spreader lights, so go check out the videos guys, Fishy Dubs Fishing, signing out. I forgot to mention that silicone spray is good for reels and rods, I spray all my reels with that, and um, you know I don't make any money uh, making these videos. I'm not at a thousand yet, and even when you get to a thousand, you don't make that much money. Everybody thinks they're going to get rich making videos, but to tell you the truth, I don't even care about the money. I just enjoy this sport, and if I could help somebody with some of the knowledge that I'm showing here in these videos, you know, if I could help somebody run their boat and avoid a breakdown on the sea, because I've been there too. Um, that's all I, I get out of the channel. And the enjoyment of fishing. So. Take it for what it's worth. Everything I show you. I use myself. I do myself. Okay. I'm not creating a fairy tale. Like some of these videos. You know everything that I show and do. I do myself. I don't, I try not to really tell people to go out and do it or buy it. All I do is suggest and show you what I'm using, and then you can make your own choice. All right, guys, stay tuned for the fishing.